Malaysia, land of exotic beauty and charm, covered with tropical rainforests and dense jungles and supporting an abundant diversity of plant and animal life. Like the land that sustains them, the Malay people are gracious and hospitable. They welcome both friend and stranger with warm smiles and friendly faces. The 23 million Malay people spread throughout Southeast Asia, from Thailand to Indonesia, Singapore, Brunei, and Malaysia. A majority of the Malay, 12 million, live in Malaysia, where they constitute just over half its population. Ethnic Chinese and Indians represent significant minorities. Essentially, 100% of the Malay are Muslims. It is said that from the moment of birth to the point of death, Islam touches the life of a Malay at a thousand points. We think it's important to let the children know what Islam is all about from a very young age. Tell them what the meaning of life is from an Islamic point of view. From remote rural villages to busy urban centers, streams of men pour into the local mosques for Friday prayers. They carefully wash their bodies before they pray, believing the water will cleanse them and make them more acceptable to Allah. We believe that everything stated in Quran is true. Paradise, hell, punishment. You do good, you do bad. If more bad, they mean you go to the hell. But I must try to go to the paradise. Nobody know. Even though you are good Muslim, nobody know. Only God know this. Like Osri, Many devout men and women faithfully observe the requirements of Islam, hoping the scales will tilt in their favor on the Day of Judgment. A growing phenomenon in Malaysia is the emergence of a strong evangelical church. While churches are overflowing with new believers, these Christians are primarily from Chinese and Indian backgrounds. Only a handful of Malays have chosen to follow Jesus Christ. In the midst of unprecedented church growth in Malaysia, why is this so? There are laws uh, that where you could be liable for a jail sentence or a fine if you were caught proselytizing Muslims. So Islam protects itself. With so few telling them, Malays know little about true Christianity. In general, they are content with life, identifying with Islam, to the point that they believe a Malay who gives up his religion will cease to be a Malay. Unless something changes, they will live and die beyond the reach of the gospel. Now is the time for bold, powerful prayer and strategic action on the part of the body of Christ. 23 million Malays have yet to be touched by the good news of Jesus Christ. Pray that God will soon be praised by multitudes of Malays worshiping before his throne. <laughs>